Hi, it's Kim. I have um, three little test batches for Moonworks to cut. I just made them late last night, so I um, didn't record it or anything. I'm going to make another batch of, um, of soap um, in a little bit, but um, this is these were just test batches. So this first one is um, um, called um, Briarwood, and it is a... I don't have a scent description, but just, it's a real, um, it's got patchouli and um, maybe some juniper, eucalyptus kind of smell, um, some berries possibly. All I know is, is I really like it. It's a great kind of like um, wintry kind of scent. And so I'm just testing this to see how it, you know, works, how it worked with, and I didn't have any um, acceleration or anything like that. Everything just worked out fine. And, and surprisingly, the color of it was um, like a russet color. But honestly, this looks pretty light. I'm not sure really how um, dark it's gonna actually get because um, it's it's pretty light, so I'm kind of happy with that. And these are all um, scents that um, um, Moonworks are you know going to bring in. I just put some botanicals on top just to give it some interest. It has a really nice wintry, earthy smell. Oh, it's nice. Excuse my son is playing um, um, deep games on his computer, so he's um, talking with his friends. He gets a little excited. So anyway, this is the Briarwood, okay? So then I have, this one is Black, black Plum and Fig. And so I, I left, this is all the natural color. I didn't do anything to it, but I just wanted to have a little bit of... Um, color. These are kind of soft still because um, I had um, full water on these because I didn't want to do any kind of discount since it was a test. So it's it's really sort of soft. I'm turning them like this because I don't want to drag the botanicals that I put on top and these have, I just put some broken up um, red clover on top but that looks like a great, it's not going to discolor I don't believe. And um, I even like that shade of plum purple that I did. And this one is, you can definitely, it, it is, it's like a rich plum scent with fig. I mean, you definitely smell both notes for sure. It's nice. It's, it's more of a, a sweeter fig than a... Mediterranean type, you know, this is um, a, a, a nice sweet type of fig, but you definitely smell the plum. All I did was just put some in the bottom and then just pour some in the top. I mean, with the undyed, I mean, uncolored um, layer in between. So that's them. We'll see how they go after they've been sitting for a week and see if they darken any. Now this one, I'm real excited about. It's a fresh, sweet, clean floral. And, um, but it, I don't even like floral, but this one is a good one. And it is gonna be called Renesme. And, um, it's just a beautiful, a beautiful floral. And I only used, this is about, 
I would say 12 ounces of um, soap right here. And I only used um, a half an ounce of um, fragrance oil in it. So, and it's, and to me, it's perfect. It has just enough of the scent to where it's just a really nice, sweet, clean floral. Oh, I love it. I'm definitely, that one's a keeper for me. And I don't even like floral. I'm the earth girl, I like earth, earthy scents. And so, it'll be interesting. And see the top is a little bit peachy kind of color because I had spritzed it a little with some 24 karat gold mica and put some dried um, jasmine on top because I got some new botanicals and I, I wanted to just try them out. And so otherwise, this is just the natural color of the batter besides that tiny bit of um, 24 karat gold mica that I put in the top. And then you know how when you start fiddling around trying, it had so much time to play with that um, it took a while for it to um, set up so I could even get any kind of a model top on, you know, like decorated top. So, so anyway, this is it. These are three new scents that she's going to be offering, and one is Briarwood, which is great for the winter, like a winter alternative to pine. It, it just reminds you of like, I don't know, like a cold, wintry forest or something, but not, there's no notes of pine or anything. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just real earthy and natural smelling. And then the black plum and fig, and then the um, Renesme, which is a beautiful, um, sweet, clean floral. And for somebody who doesn't like floral, that's pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to make a batch of soap now, and um, I'm going to record it. So I'll be back in a minute. Thanks for watching.